How's it going guys, Zeta here. So I made a video about a few days ago regarding a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. You know, I had a continuation of my review of while I was experiencing the game, sharing what I thought regarding a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth so far. And at the moment, as I'm recording this video, guys, I have not yet finished the full story. And I, like I said in my previous video, I'm taking my sweet, sweet time because I want to 100% uh, all the regions within Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And before I proceed, I want to mention as well, this is very important for me to clarify that I have not played the original Final Fantasy VII game. So I do not have that kind of experience or a nostalgia that perhaps a lot of you guys that have already and you know perhaps maybe it's beloved for you and maybe of course why whenever I mention something negative or something disappointing regarding of the Final Fantasy 7 rebirth obviously they're gonna go out of after me it makes sense I totally understand this it's a beloved game for a lot of people and you know what I'm not gonna hold them against this uh, regarding the situation I completely understand now, I have read a lot of comments and people were quite upset regarding me uh, mentioning that I was quite disappointed with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth so far. I had some issues with it. It's not like it was a technical issues, but it's actually the, game, the way that they made the design and uh, the approach within Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I kind of disagree with you know for example you're right i just like on top of my head i don't even need bullet points for this for example over reliance on too many uh mini games that you will actually still have to complete even during when you're going through the main quest but it also doesn't exactly help that i'm going for 100 regions right so this means i'm gonna have to do well most of them to all of them all those mini quests even after the story and afterwards that are not even mandatory and they are optional and i'll still have to do it and obviously that will get to me and i will get even more pissed off during it and yeah there are some good side, uh, mini uh, mini quests and uh, mini uh, you know games but yet there's also quite a lot of poor ones included and on top of that the ones that are poor there's just so many of them but yet also the ones that are good there's also quite many of them it just that's just it too many that's the thing that's the biggest concern like too many and some things are like completely over dragged and over um, you know over welcoming overstaying its welcome I should say and that's the issue that I'm having within this game as well this remake that it happened in Final Fantasy 7 remake it actually did drag right but in here oh my goodness it's it's dragging dragging in my last video I mentioned that I played the game through and I reached like about more than 30 hours of gameplay session that's wrong I when I started playing tonight I checked and my goodness I was actually nearing 50 hours <laughs> So look, look, it seems like I played a lot more of it, but actually it feels like I played less of it. Maybe that's a good thing. Because like, look, I'm not gonna say that and say here that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is an awful game or bad game. It's not. It's not awful, it's not bad. It's not even an okay game. I'll say it's a good to a great game. It really is. That's a, that's a lot, that's all I can really mention. Like for example, I like the story. I do like the story, the way they're cinematically told and gone ahead. I don't mind the cringy moments. I'm not gonna give that a bad thing because, you know, because there's some cringing moments as anime and whatnot, right? I don't give a shit. I watch anime. I like this story that they're progressing through. Now, there are problems with it as well. For example, like the way they told the story, it's like all over the place as well. Some of the important key moments are kind of being dragged out and some of them are actually not even uh, paid attention to more often than not. Some of the side, uh, well, quests that are like, for example, like Barrett's Oh, I shouldn't really mention too much, they will actually go into the spoilers category. So basically, the quests that are mandatory that you'll have to do through the story are completely unnecessary, I personally believe, and it should have been actually side quests instead. It actually would make more sense in that way. And in fact, I think it would have been better for this game. You know, reduce down the story and the mandatory tasks that you will need to do and have a richer side quests. Because side quests are actually a detriment within this game because they're not that good, unfortunately. But nevertheless, it's still, they're not too bad, like comparing to the like Final Fantasy 16, if you guys have played the side quests within that game, oh my god, those were trash, seriously, like they were very bad. But this main story was fantastic, like I know what I'm talking about, I, I, like, I only have like uh, two trophies remaining for uh, the Platinum Trophy on Final Fantasy 16, and like the final ones is I actually have to replay the game on Final Fantasy mode, the hardest difficulty mode, and unlocking all the skills or abilities that uh, it's also will be done this afterwards as well, it's a cumulative kind of trophy. And yeah, this is why you see like I got the Platinum for Final Fantasy 15, Final Fantasy Remake, and uh, uh, so I'm almost there with the Platinum of Final Fantasy 16. Now I'm just thinking, wait, should I go for the Platinum on Final Fantasy uh, Rebirth as well, right? 
like should I do it or I not and still there's always like these kind of questions in the back of my mind and that's the reasoning why I kind of want to go for 100% in this game but I'm also contemplating now if I want to do it or if I don't but yeah see like when my in previous video that I made regarding a Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth I perhaps I was a little bit eh, not a little bit I was pretty harsh uh, on it because maybe I was also in a heated uh, you know moment because there was just kind of getting frustrating like there's uh, there's sometimes I just like on purposely don't play the game you know for the past I think it was like about a week ago or so no, a little bit less than that I just decided not to play the game for the next three days because I was so sick of it but yet it's also when I do turn it on and I play the game, it's not bad, you know, I ended up playing like three to four hours, depends of course on the day and uh, and the time of availability that I have. You see, like, it's, it's a weird process of line thinking that I have to do that I can't really summarize my thoughts and say if I like the game or I don't. A lot of people say, like, if you don't like the game, don't play it. Well, sure, but I do want to finish it though, don't I? Like, I'm not gonna sit here and say that, well, I don't want to finish the game because I'm sick of it, or I got bored of it, or it's disappointing to me. No, I want to finish the game first, and then I'll share my full proper review. Because, like, right now, this is not yet my full proper review. I'll have, in my next video regarding Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I'll have a full proper review of what I think about it, and just put a dot on it, just like that, and say, like, okay, I like it, or I dislike it, or it's disappointing, it's fantastic, it changed my mind, and uh, I gave it a second chance, and I loved it or whatnot, right? It's just kind of that kind of line of process. I want to have my realistic opinion and what I think about this game. But yeah, guys, like, please don't hold it all against me since since I perhaps was a little bit, not a little bit, I was harsh on the game before and uh, I do apologize to have about that. I kind of like, I started listening over as well my video and I just like started paying attention a little bit more and I was like, yeah, I was a little bit brutal. I definitely was. And so I want to kind of tone it down. I want to kind of apologize for that video as well. But also some things that I mentioned within that video of the negative parts, I kind of agree. Like I have to still agree. Like there's some problems within this game that I already have mentioned. And as well as the, like the biggest problem that I have, if we can ignore all the side quests or all this kind of mini games issues that I'm having with and a lot of other people are having with as well. And just that the main story, the way the pacing is done, is very, very poorly done. Like, it's not just that it overdrags itself, over saying it's welcome, like I mentioned, but it's also it's just that it's so many things that are unnecessary within the story just, just don't make no sense. You know, it's, it's a problem that every game kind of catches on and gets to, right? Basically, uh, there's an end of the world. You have a limited time to save this world. And yet, okay, let's play so many games. You see what I mean? Like, a lot of people get into that kind of trap and they don't know what to do. But you can't just like have a, a like a, a countdown timer uh, on the side of the screen or something like that. Obviously, that will, well, people will feel rushed. People will feel like very detriment due, due to that as well like few games that i can think of that actually has done that having like a timer on the side is dead uh, dead rising i think it was dead rising one and two and so those games that did it with the timer on the side it's like going to be new coming out coming down and uh and just basically down the world more or less more or less i'm not saying it is but the more or less but in this case in final Fantasy 7 rebirth like you know having a timer like that i don't know if that would be a good thing or bad thing i don't know but either way, uh, I think they still should have just like maybe had a timer right there and there so we could concentrate on our main quests, finish the quests, and then uh, just before the final uh, main boss, you can go, go and explore the world without any timer or any sorts of restrictions. But I, I don't know. It's, it's, a very, it's a very difficult thing to explain and to summarize, like I mentioned. But it still could be interesting nevertheless. And yet again, I cannot give this kind of an idea since this is an established IP such as Final Fantasy VII. So you can't just like include something completely new or different that it was not present uh, in the Final Fantasy VII original game. And so I can understand the reasoning why they did not uh, do that. But yeah, I, I can also see why people could get pissed off about that too. Still, my thoughts that regarding Final Fantasy VII Rebirth so far, they are okay. It's not necessarily that they're bad or just awful. This game is not. It's, it's okay to good, to maybe even to great in some sort of aspects. But yeah, if I had, to, like right now at this moment, if I would have had to say by comparison, which is the better one? Final Fantasy VII Remake or Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? 100% Remake is better, nevertheless, because it's actually a lot more concentrated story. Here it's a lot more diverse, a lot more, well, it's all over the place, basically. It's, the size of it is the biggest problem with it that I'm having. 
But anyway, that's just my thoughts, guys. T thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys all. Uh, yeah, have a wonderful day. And do expect another video coming out soon after some time. Uh, my full proper review of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth.